What is going on guys, Fitcho here and welcome to Dirt 4, the brand new rally game from Codemasters and I am so damn hyped to get into this game. I absolutely loved Dirt Rally and I cannot wait to get into Dirt 4. We're going to kick things off, just jumping straight into it and jumping into the career mode. Let's go. Racing in dirt is a thrill like no other. Your car flows through the turns. It's like music. You find a rhythm and then dance with danger on the edge of control. The adrenaline courses through your veins, but the whole world melts away until it's just you, the car, and the competition. Be fearless. Wow, what an intro to Dirt 4. That just made me so much more hyped to get into this game. Like, I'm already buzzing to play this game, but I am so much more excited after seeing that. That was really well put together. But I just want to take a moment to talk a little bit about how I'm going to do this career mode, because I'm going to do it a little bit differently to how most people have done it. So, all the career modes I've seen already, which there's been a fair few, everyone's sort of done a live commentary, and I've cut to the bits where they actually talk during the stages. And obviously, when you're talking, you're not really concentrating on what your code driver saying and that's usually led to whenever people talk they always make some sort of mistake they run wide roll over a lot of crashes I've seen just from people talking throughout the stage and that's all you really see when you watch other people's career modes I've found so I'm gonna do things a little bit differently I'm gonna leave all the stages in there completely uncut so you can see the entire thing I am doing a live commentary but I'm not gonna talk during the stages because I want to obviously concentrate on the co-driver's notes because that is a very very important part of rallying and then you'll just hear the odd remark from me and you get to see the raw gameplay and see me driving through the stage and not just see everyone crashing but after that intro they've chucked us into the profile creation I've created my profile of course my name I'm 17 years old I am Australian and I'm going with that driver appearance the same as I use on F1 and of course multi-platform leaderboards because that doesn't really make a difference. Let's continue. Let's get the basics set up for you. What kind of experience are you looking for when it comes to driving the car? Well, it's got to be simulation really, the same sort of handling as they had on Dirt Rally. I absolutely loved that. And if you didn't already know, I am racing on a wheel, a Thrustmaster TX wheel to be exact. So I've actually got a Ferrari uh, 599XX rim on it. It's a really nice round Alcantara rim and it works so so damn well with Dirk you get this nice solid round rim so it has to be the simulation handling. Welcome to Fitzroy Australia. This is a great place to get a taste of driving a rally car. There's no pressure to compete but there are some talent scouts here today. You never know. Do well and it could lead to a seat with a professional team. Your co-driver and instructor for today will be Jen Horsey, one of the best in the business. Good luck. All right, we're here in Outback, Australia. This is an M Sport prepared Ford Fiesta R2. It's front wheel drive with a sequential gearbox. And although it's got a small engine, it still packs a punch. It's a great car to get started with. I'm gonna count you in like I would at the start of a real stage. So when you hear me say go, hit the gas and get up to speed. Here we go, Five, our very four, first stage. Three, We're about two, to go. One, go. And we are underway okay, on so Dirt 4. And I can't actually do the shifting myself. All the assists yeah, seem to be on. I know I said I'd leave all the stages in there completely unedited. But that one was a little bit pointless because all the assists were on and I just wanted to change a few settings on my wheel to get it right for myself and no I don't want to change the handling thing and it is suggesting only pro which surprises me I would have thought it might have been champion but we'll just go with what the game suggests for now and maybe later I might need to turn the difficulty up so let's jump into it. Well, 
By completing your induction at the DIRT Academy, you've earned your first license. This has given you access to regional rally events over in Michigan, where you can start your career. Awesome. So we can now start our rally career with some national level events here in the US. That was just the Dirt Academy where they just made you drive around. It was pretty pointless. So I will have cut that bit out. And I also had a chance to finally turn all the assists off and have a bit of a feel for how the handling is on this game. My team becomes available once you buy a car of your own, allowing you to set up and manage your own racing team. Choose vehicles to find your garage and buy new cars for your collection. From time to time, you will receive messages in your mailbox. Alright, that sounds pretty cool. A little bit further down the track, we will be able to start our own rally team, buy cars, buy engineers, buy facilities and all that good stuff. So I can't wait to get into that, but this first, we need to actually start our rally career. Choose so that's career. what we're going to do. Jump into career mode. Going to go into rally. In rally. Competitors race one at a time down a section of road called a stage. Stages vary in length and can be bumpy, twisty and have multiple surfaces ranging from gravel to asphalt and snow. To be successful you need a high level of concentration, listening to your co-driver and maintaining your nerve to push the car to the edge of its performance. An event is made up of one or more stages with service intervals to repair your car along the way. The fastest combined time across the stages wins the event. Your goal is to win the Global Rally Series and take your place among the best. To get there, you'll need to start out as a driver for hire. We paired you up with co-driving legend Nicky Grist to get you on your way. So that's pretty cool. They have Nicky Grist in this game to be the co-driver. If you don't know who he is, he is a bit of a co-driving legend. He spent 15 plus years in the WRC, including winning the championship. I think it was in 1993, and then he was also the co-driver from about 1997 onwards for the late Col uh, Colin McRae. So he's a pretty legendary co-driver, and it's pretty cool to see him. Cody's getting him in for this game, but like he was just uh, the guy was just saying the goal is to win the international rally s That's the goal of this career mode They do have land rush and rally cross in this game, but I'm not really gonna focus on that My goal is to win this rally championship and that's gonna be hundred percent my focus I'm gonna go through all this and once I've won this then maybe I'll look into rally cross without further ado Let's get our rally career underway with the dirt clubman cup so, we're going to Michigan for our first ever rally. It's only a 3k stage, and I believe it's only a one stage event. So, starting things off pretty simple. Okay, the team targets finish the event in first place in your vehicle class. So, straight away, they want us to go out and win, and they don't want us to get any more than four seconds worth of penalties. I think that shouldn't be too hard. But, I don't know, my first proper stage in this game, let's jump into it. Should be able to enter some higher profile events if we carry a good reputation. Here we go, our first ever stage in our career. Hold the handbrake, get the revs Three, up, here we two, go. One, go. Keep left over crest, 60. Right, 6. And left 5, 40 through dip, right 6 over crest, don't cut, right 6, into left 4 long, opens, keep in, 150, keep right over crest, 110 over bumps, 60, right 5, don't cut, and right 4, don't cut, 100, left 4, and right 6, into left 5, Right four long, don't cut. And right six, don't cut. 200, 200 over bumps, 100. Left six, don't cut. And left four long, 250, 200 over bumps. Oh, that's a little bit wide. That corner tightened up a little bit more than I anticipated there. Right I thought it'd be a bit longer until it tightened till the four. Five, Hopefully that didn't cost us too much time. Overpressed. 200, 200 over bumps, 80. Right four long. And right six, 250. Over finish to stop. Okay, and across the line. 
And we go first by the looks of things. So that's exactly what we want by 4.6 seconds. Amazing so that's it's a amazing. good start. A good start. It wasn't the cleanest stage. I had to sort of get a feel for this game and learn what Michigan is sort of like. But if we have a quick look at the stage results, like I said, it was about 4.6 seconds we won that event by. So a great way to start our career. Starting things off with a win. Exactly what you want. And there we go, a little bit of a celebration there, and confirmation that we have won the Dirt Clubman Cup. And then we get our objective, both of them, which is perfect. We finished first and didn't get a single second worth of penalty, so we get those team target bonus credits. And then the full-on credits, we get a fair bit of prize money. We lose a bit from the team deduction, but we make a profit of 19,000 credits, which is exactly what we want. And our reputation, we have leveled up to level 2, which is a beginner. So a good way, straight up a level and almost halfway through level 2 already. Impressive. You've earned a new license and progressed from a local to a regional level. This is a great start to your career. So, new license, like we just got told, we've now gone from local to regional, so we can continue to progress in our career. Compete in national championships until you've completed enough events to graduate to an international license. Alright, sounds simple enough. Let's move on to our next championship, which is the Dirt Fish Graduation Rally. And it looks like this is just a single event with two stages to it. And we're in an Opal Adam, so a different car this time. So, stage one, it's again only 3k, so a pretty short stage, and it looks fairly straight. It looks like it's going to be quite a fast stage, which isn't exactly what I like. I prefer some of the slower stuff, like Monte Carlo, the Monte Carlo Rally on Dirt Rally. That was my favorite uh, location there. So, this stage probably won't suit me that well, but it is fairly short. Let's jump into it. So the team targets are again to not get any more than 4 seconds worth of penalties and finish the event in at least 21st position. So I'm assuming that means there are a few different car classes or this is just a big step up from the previous event. Well nope there is only one vehicle class and there is 30 competitors so they want us to finish in the top sort of 66% of the field. That shouldn't really be that hard. Nothing's been reported to the marshals. The stage is clear for you. Here we go. A 129.2 is our goal from Morton. Here we go. Hold the handbrake. Get the revs up. Two, one, go. Right six over crest. Don't cut. 200. 200 over bumps. 100. Right five. And right four. 200. Right six over crest, 80. Right six. And left five, 40 through dip, water splash. Right six Straighten the car up for the water splash. Six through oh, dip. we lost so right much five. momentum there. I'm going to have to learn, you got to change down a gear up through and those six, water splashes, or otherwise you crest. just lose dip so 80. much momentum like I did that time. Left four. And right six into left five. Right four long, don't cut. And right six, don't cut. 200, left four long, keep in, don't cut. 150, right four long, tightens, keep in. Into left six, don't cut. Left oh six. shit, I've gone in way too deep and there. Right that was a four, not a five, I misheard and that. And left six. Right six, don't cut, and bump, and left four, and right six, 200, over finish to stop. And up to the finish, and we are first by six seconds as I take out a few orange barriers there and stop by the marshal. Again, it was a little bit scrappy. I got into the side banking there. At, oh, I think it was a right four. I went in a little bit too hot thinking it was a right five for some reason. I might have got a little bit of damage from that, that, but it doesn't seem to have hurt us too badly. If we have a look at the stage results, we really destroyed that time from a fellow Aussie of Morton in second. We did a 122 and he did a 129. 
So stage two of this rally, another 3K stage, so a very similar length, not very long at all. It looks a little bit more uh, tight and technical in the middle of the stage, but there is a very fast section, it looks like. Towards the end, a bit of a mix in this stage, it'll be interesting. Okay, so we have the chance to repair our vehicle. We've got light damage on the bodywork. We will fix that, and there's that all there really is. It looks like that is all there is that needs to be fixed. Should be able to enter some higher profile events if we carry a good reputation. So a 147 is the target. We already have a six second lead going into this, so we don't have to push it too hard. We just need to make sure we don't lose six seconds worth of time and we are underway for the second stage here. Right six, don't cut. And bump and left four. And right six, 80. Left four. And right six, into left five. Right six, and left five. 40 through dip, water splash. Right six over crest. Right four. Oh, the water splash, cut. they are and very right annoying. Six, don't cut. 80, crest 60. Turn acute right 60. Post outside. Keep left over crest. Left 5. 150. Oh, so much understeer when I got onto the power of this car. I think it might be a front wheel drive, but it wouldn't surprise me. And the car just stopped turning as soon as I tried to power out of that hairpin. Right 4 long. And right 6. 250. 200 over bumps. 200. I think this is the straight section down towards the end. There's a lot of bumps and I have to hold on tight as we bounce flat out in top gear, bouncing off the rev limiter and there is the finish. Just get out of the throttle a little bit so we don't crash it. Oh, we're still going to crash it up to the marshal. Well done. We finished the stage nine seconds up on Kral, who finished in second. So that will extend our margin to over 15 seconds. There we go, first in the stage and first in the events. Let's have a look at the event standings. We completed that in 2 minutes and 45 seconds. And second place was 3 minutes and 8 seconds, over 20 seconds ahead of second place. A very comfortable win there. There we go, first place in the Dirt Fish Graduation Rally, getting the 25 points, even though it is only a one event championship. And we completed both of the team targets, so we get a few bonus credits, 1,800 bonus credits there to be exact. And how many credits do we get in total? 24,500 credits, so another nice haul of credits right there. We are also going to level up to level 3. We are now classified as a clubman. And we, oh actually we're going to level up twice, all the way up to level 4 now, we're now a novice. Keep up the good work. With this new license, you've progressed from a regional to national level, and you're ready for the next level of competition. There we go, another new license. We can now st step up to national competition. So that is where I am going to end today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of the Dirt 4 career mode. I have really, really enjoyed it and I can't wait to get further into this career mode. In the next episode, we're going to be tackling the Michigan Wood Rally and the US National Open. So that will be up in the next episode and I'm hoping to get that out very, very soon. I want to get these episodes out pretty quickly at the start and just play this game as much as I can. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to smash that like button. Of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been X Fitcher and I'll see you all next time.